Hello, this is Ben Ruley, GIS conservationist with the Stern Soil and Water Conservation District with your weekly conservation report. I wanted to make you aware of an upcoming fundraiser opportunity. Farm Friends Barn is hosting a sporting clay fundraiser at Wild Marsh Clay Shoot near Clear Lake, Minnesota on Thursday, September 7th. Registration is from 2 to 3 o'clock. Shotguns start at 3 p.m. Uh, the cost is $400 per four-person team. There will be a banquet social hour uh, cash bar following at Jack and Jim's in Duelm starting at 4 p.m. The banquet is open to the public. The cost of dinner buffet is $25. The award ceremony will be held at 6 p.m. There will also be raffle tickets available for a variety of great prizes. A little more information about Farm Friends Barn. Farm Friends Barn is an agricultural education exhibit for kids. Children become farm hands at this hands-on exhibit as they experience the agricultural process beginning at the farm and ending at the market. Little farm hands and their families get to work, get their work aprons and fire up their imaginations to help with the farm chores, collect goods to sell at the farmer's market, and spend their earnings at a grocery store. Funds raised will go to maintaining and expanding the opportunities at the Farm Friends Barn, which is located near Becker, Minnesota. I also wanted to make you aware that the Minnesota Department of Agriculture is currently developing a nitrogen fertilizer rule and is seeking public comment. The purpose of the rule is to minimize potential sources of nitrate pollution in the state's groundwater and to protect our drinking water. The rule presented is in draft form and may change based on public input. The rule is expected to be adopted in the fall of 2018. Nitrate nitrogen is one of the most common contaminants in Minnesota groundwater. The majority of Minnesota households have access to safe drinking water supplies. However, in areas vulnerable to groundwater contamination, some public and private wells may have high nitrate levels. Too much nitrate in drinking water can pose serious health concerns for humans. The MDA is currently seeking public input. The rulemaking process involves reviews by the governor, public comment periods, and steps for public notification. If you would like more information or are interested in providing comments, please contact Larry Gunderson, the Fertilizer Technical Unit Supervisor with MDA at 651-201-6168. I'd like to end with a few updates in regards to the Minnesota Buffer Law. This week, the Stearns County Soil and Water Office sent out a second round of letters to landowners who may be affected by the buffer law. The letters include a map indicating the areas of the channel that appear to be lacking the required buffers. The letter also contains information about possible deadline extensions, possible funding sources, and other ways the Soil and Water Office may be able to assist in becoming compliant with the state buffer law. The hope of the Stern Soil and Water Office is that we will be able to work with our landowners and achieve a 100% compliance rate within Stearns County. But a lot of people are asking what happens if they do not comply with the state buffer law. More details are now available on that. Bowser, the Board of Soil and Water Resources, will be the uh, agency that will be administrating penalties and enforcing buffer compliance. Once notified by Bowser that you have a parcel out of compliance with the buffer law, you will have 11 months to become compliant. After that, you will be charged $100 per parcel per month for six months and $500 per parcel per month after that six month period until you become compliant. If you'd like more information about the state buffer law, don't hesitate to contact the Stearns County Soil and Water Conservation Office. We have a number of staff here who will be glad to assist you looking at your options and working with you on potential deadline extensions. Our phone number here at the Soil and Water Office is 320-251-7800, extension 3. I'd like to thank you for listening in, and once again, this is Ben Ruley with the Stearns County Conservation Report.